guys, uh, welcome to my JKD Academy. My name is Sifu George Hajinasa. What I'd like to introduce to you today is JKD Rear Punch Execution. That means, like a lot of people, I made a video about uh, JKD uh, puncher mechanics and so forth. And some people wanted to know how you punch from the rear. And they think from watching the video, they thought we punch her, like vertically like this. The punch does not go vertically. Only goes vertical on the front here. But once you rotate your body, your, your punch kind of rotates slightly on an angle. So if you actually look at this, it has a slight angle to it. So the punch is not like this. It's not a straight Wing Chun punch. A, a straight Wing Chun vertical punch, it's called Yat Ji Chun Kun. It goes like this. So the punches go like this. But when we punch in JKD, we don't go like this. Even when I do the straight knee punch, it looks like this. But if you look at it, it has a very slight angle. So the angle, when I move my punch, you can see it has a slight angle on it. Because that's the rotation of the shoulder. When I rotate, the shoulder turns the punch inward a little bit. Because they want to know how do you generate power. The power does not come from the actual punch. It comes from blocking the whole mechanics behind the punch. And they say like when boxers, they turn the punch and they turn like this. This is the worst punch you could ever throw. Maybe for boxers it works, but not in martial arts. So here's what happens on the street. When I teach my punch in here, I don't teach it to punch like this, never. Yeah, and box it, but look what happened to my elbow. It's so high up. So I'm gonna show you on top. So when I go like this, when I throw the punch here, not only I'm gonna break my wrist, it's gonna end up forward, and if I end up punching him here, the wrist is gonna collapse forward, it's gonna go down with motion. And my elbow is so high up, it's already, I took away all that punching power. So the power, I don't care how hard you punch, yeah, unless you're like Mike Tyson, you're not gonna generate that much power. So when I go like this, my elbow is bending, and my wrist is bending forward. Normally boxers, they wrap their wrist really well. So when they punch, so this becomes one weapon. So the wrist never bends forward or upward. So automatically the wrist, when you punch like this, it wants to bend forward. There's no way I could punch this and generate power. So I could hit, but not as much as I could throw the punch like this. The rear Jeet Kune Do punch, it is thrown from here, from the hip. It's coming from my hips, from my stance. So all the power is coming forward, rotation, and it's coming down on an angle. It's not like this. So it's never in this position. So I'm not throwing a punch like this. This has no power, and you can see my wrist, it's against my body mechanics. So the wrist is gonna go left and right. Where it's gonna go down on, the, on an angle, about a 10 degree angle. And this hand remains, so when I throw the punch, same exact motion. We're not throwing a, a, a wind charm punch. That's totally different. A Jeet Kune Do punch is executed totally different. When I throw it, it's on an angle. I ro rotate my whole body into it. Again, not so much out, but when I go, I, the hand comes down, I rotate. This way, you can see my elbow kicks up. My elbow kicks up, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have Tom punch. I'm gonna have him do both, and I'm gonna show you how, and I'm not gonna have him try to act or pretend, and I'm gonna have him throw the regular vertical punch on an angle, and versus this punch here, and you can see how much power. Because why would I, if I punch like this, I have, I already extend, I'm full extension of my arm over here to his face. When I throw the punch here, full extension of the punch. Why would I bend my elbow to, re, to retract my fist back? Because look, now I have to really step and punch him. Where I could just punch him, not only I'm gaining reach. See, look at this, my elbow, here's the Jeet Kune Do punch. See, when, we, when I bend it like this, like a boxer, I'm taking away from my punching power, and I'm bending the elbow, which is against your whole bone structure. Where I punch like this, the whole bone structure is behind it. And I rotate, same thing, but not like this. Okay, we're not throwing a Wing Chun punch, it's a Jeet Kune Do punch. So when I throw here, it's on an end where it goes down. The only time I would turn my wrist inward, if I punch downward, and it has to be on a, an actual execution to the ribs. But again, I don't use those first two knuckles. It's not a Karate Seiken Zuki punch. It's an actual Jeet Kune Do punch. We punch with the first Three knuckles, not those two. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we never turn the wrist like this because that causes damage to the wrist as well. Okay? You could disagree with me all you want, but I could prove it. So if you actually take something completely flat, and I'm going to show Tom demonstrating, and you go as natural as you can without adjusting the wrist, you're going to realize only those three knuckles touch. So why bend the wrist and cause you know damage to your wrist or cause injuries to your hands and your wrist? So I'm going to show you how it goes, and I'm going to have him punch as natural as he can, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Thank you for watching. Okay.
Okay, Tom's gonna throw just a regular vertical punch. Okay, good. Okay, now I want to hold on, I'm gonna turn the other way. Now I'm gonna show it to you from this angle when he throws a cross punch. So throw a cross punch with the, now I want you to do it like a boxer would do, just turn your wrist inward and turn it into a, a horizontal punch, go. Okay, go ahead, do it. Okay. And let me tell you, he's not acting. His wrist is folding forward. Okay? I bet you anything, after a couple times, his, his wrist is going to be sore. Now, do a Jeet Kune Do punch. And if you notice, he's not even hitting on target. He missed his target like five times already. So that's a Jeet Kune Do punch. He's hitting on the spot every single time. Okay? Okay, what's important here to you actually pay attention to the actual the mechanics when you throw the punch. The punch goes like this, I never turn it like this. And I never, I've seen, again, I've seen people when they throw the punch, they keep it straight like this. It's not a perfect vertical punch. The punch goes, turns slightly. So when it turns, it takes, you have full extension of the body, so the bone structure have to line up perfectly, okay? So if you go like this, then the bone structure only lines up with the shoulder and now your face is turned that way. So that's why it's important when you turn, you rotate so you can see it. So if I actually look at the front knuckle here, um, it's pointed right on my, right in front of my nose. Where if I turn it like this, now I really have to look at it to really see it. So that's what's another way to look at it. So if I punch like this, I'm right on the center. My punch, I'm looking right under my nose. Where versus if I turn like this, my body is automatically shifting outward. So I'm, now my chest is here, and my opponent is here for me to, to, to land the perfect vertical punch. That's not how it works in JKD. So when I go here, I rotate so my body's here, so my, the knuckles are right there. I could look at this, right on the front. I can see right under my nose, where if I turn, automatically my shoulder lifts in the back. When I throw the rear punch, same exact idea. So I'm looking at it where here, Look what happened to my shoulder and I have to twist my leg for all my bone structure to line up, which is wrong. Now watch if I throw a boxer's punch. I have to rotate. Now look how I bend. I don't care. You can punch like this. It does not look right because your, your whole body is not built like this. You're, built, you're not built. You don't walk like this. You walk natural. So when you throw the punch, by rotating my hips, this lines up right under my nose. And if I turn like this, my elbow kicks out. That's the reason Jeet Kune Do punches, we don't punch it like this. I can punch any way I want if I have to, but that's not, when we talk about body alignment and body structure and everything we gotta line up with the body, this is the proper way to do it. On the street, but when you're on the, in the ring, you wrap up. So anybody could wrap up and you could throw any way you want. I don't care how you throw your punches then, because you're wrapping your wrist and there's no more injuries to your wrist anymore because you have nothing to worry about folding forward if you find the punch, okay? So that's the reason we throw here, move, move it. And when I twist, I twist to this side. So my body automatically in the vertical, in the backhand position when I throw here, where if I would just hit, I hit and back the position. And I'm ready because the punch throws here and here. Perfectly, you throw the shot, look, look, and back, okay? So thank you for watching, I hope this explains it, and uh, hopefully we'll make another video explaining uh, more, more mechanics about JKD. Thank you again, please don't forget to subscribe.